hey, hey. Another week. Another week. Come on in and join me. Trying to balance our energy, prepare for the week ahead, and see what's going on in the cosmos. Take a moment. Come on in. Let me know you're here. Share it out as well. Give me some thumbs up. Come on in and join me. What to talk about from last week, what's coming up next week, and where we are in the world, in the cosmic world of energy. Come on in and join me over here on Facebook and in my Empowered Spirit Circle, and then going to go live here on Instagram. Hey, hey, hey. How is everybody doing tonight? What did y'all notice after the big eclipses? Lots of energy, right? Let me know what you're feeling. All right, here we are. We're live on Instagram too as well. Take a deep breath. Give it a moment to catch up. Out in the sun today. Out in the sun. How has your week been? Let me know you're here. Come on in and join me. Hi, everybody. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where I come on live. We talk about what's going on, cosmos, the tarot cards. We'll even do a Who Am I Tonight? How much fun has that been? Let me know if you've been playing. So come on in. So much is going on this past week. A lot of energy flying around. A lot of trying to like kind of catch up with the cosmic forces. And maybe you had a week that was showing that, all right? Maybe you had some surprises come around, things you didn't expect. A lot of that energy coming forward. It really is. And now, really the key is ground your energy and then start to bring out the ways in which you can make the shifts in your life, all right? And one of the things I've been talking a lot about is one little step at a time. You don't have to get to the end picture right away because that's just so overwhelming. So all of these little steps that you can take can help you to make the bigger changes. And that's really where we are. Still so much uncertainty in the world. Everything is still fluctuating. We're seeing a lot of that inflation coming around and nothing has really leveled out since COVID. So really right now, that's what we're working to is finding where that balance is. We're out back in the world, back out in the world. We're seeing things that have opened and changed. We're seeing things that have closed and changed. So it really is a really big balancing. So it's like kind of how can you really kind of negotiate and navigate those waters? Definitely a lot to look at. So this week compared to the last two, it's going to be just kind of more of an integration week. All right. We start with a little bit of the energy. The moon is in Leo, which is a lot of that self energy. What are you trying to shift? What are you trying to change? And we move into a little Virgo this week. So that's grounding with Mother Earth and Libra later on in the week which is that balancing force of energy. It really is. So really this week is really a catch up week, catching up with yourself, your energy, the shifts, the changes. We're also finishing out spring, coming to the end of spring, the summer equinox. No, the summer solstice is this next weekend. Next Sunday, the summer energy comes in. We move into the energy of cancer. And then we move into a whole new season, a season of growth, a season of the wild woman coming forward and really just finding the ability to open up, to just kind of like have the fun of life, have patience with yourself, get outside, let your hair down, let it get messy. All of that energy coming forward for the summer energy. It really is. One of my favorite times of year is just get outside, get hot. We're in the water today, a beautiful day. Definitely. And then it poured. So we've got all of that shift of energy coming forward. So where does it leave you? All right. That's the questions to be asking right now. What can I shift? What can I change? Little steps one at a time. Where is this taking me to? All right. We still have Mercury retrograde going on that we do. We'll have about another week, maybe two weeks of that. All right. So we're still in that review, renew, recycle energy. Letting go of what doesn't work is a recycling of energy, starting something new. It's okay to start initiating some of that. Nothing major, but a little bit of shifts and changes is going to help you see the differences that you can make in your life. Definitely. I've seen it myself. I'm seeing things start to open up. So all of that is some really great energy coming forward. So one of the things that I know a lot of people seem to be struggling right now is the idea of money and their finances. And we're seeing that inflation coming around. This week on the podcast is great timing. We have some great women 
Peg and Madeline, they're really great. They wrote a beautiful book called Energy, no, Money is an Energy Game, all right? And we talked about how even people don't even talk about money and the same way they don't talk about energy, all right? I notice that all the time. People don't want to deal with their energy body. They don't come in for clearings or for energy work. They just like think it's not important. Money could be that same thing and money is an energy. So in their book, it was really great. They have about 112 different ways in which you can shift around that energy for you to live a better and more prosperous life. Definitely check it out. The podcast was fun. We laughed a lot. We talked about a lot of different techniques that you can use. And the book is like a Bible. It's like an encyclopedia. A lot of fun on the podcast this week. All right. So let's take a moment. Notice how you can bring some of this energy forward as you move into the week. Notice where you are. That new moon was all about setting intention. So now is the time to bring that energy forward for you. All right, so let's take a moment and we're going to take a spirit to spirit. We'll do the who am I and we'll look at the cards as well. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment. Close your eyes if you'd like and just bring your energy in together. Take a deep inhale, presencing your spirit. Just feel that energy coming right into your heart. Connecting with the greater spirit, source, creator, feeling that connection, dropping into your heart. Know that you are known, know that you're loved. Calling in all the spiritual beings, the crystals, the Reiki masters, calling your own spirit guides. And just ask that they work with you and through you to surround you and protect you as you open up to this work, as you open up to this week and just setting an intention, an intention for this week. So we open up to this new season, closing out the spring, letting go of the old energy, setting an intention and allow the elevated emotions to come in for you, radiating that abundance, that prosperity and just sending it out right to the org field, inhaling, and exhaling, centering your energy, noticing how you feel as you slow down. Just take a moment and just kind of let go of the old energy. We don't need it for this week. Realigning, feeling that connection as you drop into your heart. Honoring the directions, calling in to the east. The south, the west, and the north, above you, below you, right into the very center. Feel yourself connected with Mother Earth as you open up to all these intentions for you, from the new moon to the new season. Energy follows intention. What are you intending this week? Inhaling and exhaling. So we'll start first with the card that we drew. Who am I? All right, this is the archetypal energy. So this card is about a spiritual teacher. It's about finding a mentor, all right? The beautiful things about mentoring is that you teach the student. The student comes to you to learn so that they can then do your own work, all right? Sometimes we call it a spiritual teacher, a mentor, and this will help to empower your life, all right? Lots of times in the traditional deck, it was always like giving that power away. No, we wanna have our own power. So this is a card that shows you it's time to either get a new teacher, go deeper into your own path, take back your power, take back your authority. All right, and as you move through this week, where can you notice that for you? Where can you notice that maybe you have given your power away to somebody else, you're listening to other people, instead of your own inner guidance? Where can you find a teacher? All right, that's really kind of important. And for me, like I am a spiritual teacher. And so I do teach people the very tools that I use. In fact, this week we're having a boot camp. It's fun. We haven't done it in a while in the Empowered Spirit Circle, teaching you how to do these very things. All right, so where in your own life are you giving your power away? All right, so the cards that we have today, I love this because we start with the Nine of Water. That's the wish card. That's like open your heart. Make a wish, make a wishes for your intentions. Look how pretty it is. You actually used it for the back of the deck as well. All right, so this is like things are going well. There's more to come in. So this is like make a wish and just send it right out into the universe. All right, really important. Then the ways in which we do this. So this is where you choose the one, two, or three. 
If it's the one, the way in which this can help you to do that is to really notice your mental. All right, air, five of air, change, conflict. And sometimes this card will come up to say like, are you arguing just for the sake of arguing? You do need to stand your ground, but also to notice like when you give, when you take. All right, so there is though change about this card. Change and conflict, and sometimes like we were talking about, like don't give your power away. And sometimes we have to stand up for ourselves in the midst of that conflict. And maybe that's something that you need to do as you move through this week to own your energy instead of giving it away. The next card is a seven of water. So this is the emotional energy. All right, so this is like reminding you don't get too caught up in all the drama of the emotions coming around. All right, to really focus your energy. Look how it's focusing on the one heart there. Focus your emotions. No emotions ever final. Release the excess emotions. And don't allow yourself to get caught in that drama as you make these shifts and changes. All right. The third card is the Ace of Wands, although it's upside down. All right. Ace of Fire. Sorry. Wands is fire in this deck. All right. Still learning my own deck. There you go. But this is about a new beginning in your passion and your desire and your purpose, which is perfect for the new season of summer. But it's upside down. So you probably like feeling a little bit of that shift from the eclipse and you feel there's something coming forward, but you're not quite certain what that is for you. That's what this energy is about. So the way in which we get to that energy is we go deep. We do our meditation. We seek that spiritual teacher, right? And we find more and more about what it is underneath the surface that we can bring it out and forward. So it's a great week to do this kind of work. We don't have the crazy eclipses. We don't have a new moon or full moon coming up. We're just kind of taking the energy of that new moon and starting to build it so that you can determine what your passion is, get out of the drama, all right, the emotional drama, Find those conflicts within your own mind or that you're you creating it or somebody else creating it, but don't give your power away. And most importantly, just make some wishes. Believe in the miracles of life, all right? We're in the midst of changing seasons, so it's a good time to put those new intentions out into the world. All right, and then play the game. Guess who I am? It's the mentor spiritual teacher. I'll post that tomorrow. All right, take a breath and let all these intentions just open up. For a greater path in your own life, stronger, more sensitive, more present with what you're doing. If you need some help in that, definitely come join me in the boot camp. Lots of fun. Show up. There's a workbook you can get. The link is there for you to sign up and in the bio. I also have a new website. Yay. Check it out. I'll be linking it all up to Instagram tonight. So definitely check that out as well. All right. So if you'd like a card, let me know. Also, I did want to announce that the Reiki Association is starting to be formed. We've done so much behind the scenes. We will be having an open Reiki circle June 24th at the Unitarian Church here, the Unity Church here. Sorry, the Unity Church. We'll be putting more about it. Come join us. It's open to everyone. Check it out and see what we're up to and doing. All right. I will have a Reiki self-care retreat in July. That's going to be a lot of fun too. Hit me up for the information. All right, if you'd like a card, let me know. Hey, Kat, love the cards. Messenger, super relevant. Good, thank you so much. Excellent. Hey, Mercedes, how are you? Hey, Tara, would love a card. All right, excited for new things to come. Yay, Kate, how are you? And Kat would like a card too. All right, Kate, I'm going to start with you over on Instagram. So, Kate, eight of air. So, get in the mental. So, I'm going to ask you, like, what's going on in your mind? Are you tying yourself up? All right, notice how that blindfold is barely on her eyes. All right, so what are you not seeing and where are you limiting your possibilities? All right, it's a great time to really open up. I always like to think of the wild woman activity for the summer. So don't limit your possibilities, all right? Definitely very important. Hey, Brooke, how are you? All right, Kat, the son of air. So this is kind of that Gemini energy we're in right now. And this is like telling you to like look at both sides. Find the balance and able to look at both sides of what you're doing, all right? Maybe you're only looking at one side right now. That's some of that Gemini energy that we are in. All right, Brooke. Brooke, I got for you the four of earth. All right, so this is about not holding on too tight. Earth is our money, our pentacles. So sometimes what happens is things start to go and we don't want it to change. Like, okay, everything's okay right now. We don't want to break the status quo. So we hold on. But what happens is it cuts that flow of energy. All right, so make sure that you're opening up to moving the energy around. Money comes in, money goes out. Of course, that doesn't have to be in balance. You can keep more money in than going out, but don't hold on too tight. Keep the money flowing. Keep the energy building, all right? Pentacles is our work. 
Four is find the balance, but right now it's a little bit too tied up. Look how she's tied up there. Look at all the vines. Open up the energy, all right? Let it flow, definitely. All right, who else? You are so welcome, Kate. All right, anybody else over here on Instagram? Let me know if you'd like a card. So yes, lots of stuff going on. This is a great week to really ground your energy and just kind of start to notice how you can make these shifts, especially as we move from one season to another. Love the seasonal changes. That's when you always can realign with what your path is doing. Check out the podcast. Great podcast this week, all about the abundance of money. Don't forget to make a wish. And you can still get the cards. Aren't they beautiful? You can still get the cards where the Indiegogo campaign is going on. We've had some great responses. Check it out. Get you a deck at reduced prices. Get you an energy reading. Get you some artwork. Definitely help us out to get these out into the world. Cosmos and Company, a card. All right. Yes, definitely. All right. We got the Ace of Air. So this is a new beginning in the business world or in your crafts or in your project. But this is of the earth. Ace is open possibility. All right, so what is coming forward for you and the universe wants to support it. There's a little gate, steps leading into it. New beginning in that physical realm of possibilities. All right, Kate said, wow, I'm so currently having a big moment in the life. 40 years old, looking at retraining and finding a new path. These messages mean a lot. You are so welcome, Kate. Absolutely. Definitely, and I hope Australia is opening up. All right, anybody else? Definitely check out the, the podcast. Definitely check out all the happenings and offerings. I am getting back out in the world. Yay. I am seeing people at home and virtually. And definitely the intuitive path will be opening up. But first we go through boot camp. You want some, some ways in which to understand more about your own intuitive abilities. Look at your empath energy. Ways in which we can use the tarot to know more. That's what this will be. It starts Wednesday in the Facebook group. Probably on Instagram. But come on over in the Facebook group. All right, everybody, it's been a great weekend. Take some of this nice, beautiful energy as we move out of spring into summer. Open up, open up, start to move through changes, work with the cosmic forces of energy. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.